The nightmare scenario. What if Yellowstone supervolcano erupts tomorrow? Yellowstone National Park, the crown jewel of America's natural wonders, has become the focus of growing alarm as escalating seismic and geothermal activity raises the terrifying possibility of a supervolcanic eruption. Once a serene landscape of geysers, hot springs, and wildlife, Yellowstone has transformed into a ticking geological time bomb. What would happen if this mighty supervolcano were to erupt tomorrow? The signs of impending catastrophe over the past month, Yellowstone has exhibited signs of instability. Geysers once known for predictable eruptions have become erratic, shooting scalding water hundreds of feet into the air at intervals as short as 10 minutes. Old Faithful, a hallmark of the park, has broken its centuries-old rhythm, erupting in unpredictable and violent spurts. Steamboat Geyser, the tallest geyser in the world, has also been spewing massive jets of water, accompanied by booming underground rumblings. Simultaneously, a swarm of earthquakes, numbering in the thousands, has rattled the park. While Yellowstone is no stranger to seismic activity, the frequency and intensity of these tremors have surged dramatically, with the largest reaching magnitudes above 5.5. Ground deformation has become evident, with satellite imagery showing bulging land over Yellowstone's magma chamber. Dr. Helen Carter, a leading volcanologist, described these developments as a clear sign of magma movement deep within the Earth adding that the pressures building beneath the surface are approaching critical levels. The first hours of the eruption if the Yellowstone supervolcano were to erupt Being tomorrow, the, the initial phase would be catastrophic. Huge bulge with three big volcanoes on it and then a, a colossal explosion would tear through the Earth, sending billions of tons of volcanic ash, rock, and sulfur dioxide high into the stratosphere. The detonation would register as a magnitude 9-plus earthquake, shattering the land for hundreds of miles and causing pyroclastic flows, scorching avalanches of gas and volcanic material, capable of obliterating everything in their path. Within minutes, ash clouds would darken the skies over Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho, plunging entire regions into near-total darkness. Winds would carry this ash across North America, blanketing states thousands of miles away. Airports would shut down as ash-clogged jet engines and power grids could fail under the weight of falling volcanic debris. Regional and global impacts the immediate vicinity of the eruption, a radius of 60 miles, would become uninhabitable. Yellowstone's iconic landscapes, its lush forests, vibrant hot springs, and serene lakes, would be replaced by a barren wasteland of lava and ash. Cities like Jackson and Cody in Wyoming, as well as Bozeman in Montana, would face complete destruction. Fatalities could number in the tens of thousands within hours. But the devastation wouldn't stop there. The ash cloud would swiftly spread, disrupting life across the continent. Agricultural zones in the Midwest, known as America's breadbasket, would be buried under layers of ash, choking crops and contaminating water supplies. Food shortages would spiral into a national crisis, with ripple effects across the globe. Meanwhile, sulfur dioxide released into the atmosphere would trigger a volcanic winter. This global cooling event, marked by a dramatic drop in temperatures, could last for years, causing widespread crop failures, famine, and economic collapse. Scientists estimate that such an eruption could lower global temperatures by up to 10 degrees Fahrenheit, creating conditions akin to a nuclear winter. Humanity's response the eruption would plunge the United States into chaos.
emergency services would be overwhelmed as millions fled ash-filled cities and towns. The federal government would likely declare martial law to manage the crisis.